Item Number SCP-7440 Security Level 4 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class VLAM Risk Class Warning Special Containment Procedures A 30 meter perimeter surrounding SCP-7440 is to be maintained at all times. Only personnel briefed on protocol Four thousand issue are permitted to enter SCP-7440. Anyone exiting SCP-7440 is to undergo memetic and nomenclative decontamination to prevent any further injury. As there is currently no known way to exit SCP-7440 past the second floor, only D-Class personnel are to be sent inside. Description SCP-7440 is a bunker located within the Ireland Wood Forest, England, built into the side of a hill. SCP-7440 consists of five levels descending 11 meters into the ground, mostly constructed with wood and concrete. According to video carbon dating, SCP-7440 was built in the late 1700s. Though the structure seems to have been repurposed and further added to some time in the late 1800s. SCP-7440's floors are heavily infused with thaumaturgic and nomenclative hazards, significantly impeding efforts to study the structure. Most notable of these hazards is one causing the degradation of anything containing two or more grams of iron. This effect extends to organic matter. While it is theorized that this hazard was remarkably more potent in the past, due to the lack of maintenance, it has become significantly less dangerous. Addendum 7441 SCP-7440's Floors SCP-7440's first floor appears to be purposely constructed so as to look abandoned in order to conceal the floors below it, consisting of a single room lined with crude furniture and racks containing empty ration packs. Underneath one of the racks is a wooden hatch leading into the second sublevel. Analysis has determined this hatch used to be infused with a nomenclative lock, requiring the utterance of one's name in order for it to be opened. However, this lock seems to have been bypassed through unknown means, as the hatch was found to have been forcibly open. SCP-7440's second floor consists of a currently unknown number of rooms, as the structure seems to be affected by a spatial anomaly. Entering the floor through the hatch leads to a random room with a door, window, or other means of exit, which invariably leads to another random room within the floor. Numerous rooms contain humanoid cadavers displaying conditions consistent with nomenclative breaches. Only one of the rooms within the floor is known to contain a true exit, a large crudely made hole in the floor dug out by an unknown party. SCP-7440's third floor has been thaumaturgically enchanted in order to appear as a large forest with incredibly limited visibility. The floor's actual size is currently unknown, as attempting to navigate it invariably induces confusion and causes subjects to become lost within the room. Multiple deceased humanoids have been found within the floor. Attempting to give a designation to those who died here results in intense migraines. The bodies were found to be holding rudimentary thaumaturgic weaponry, along with runes presumed to have been used for defensive purposes. A hatch leading to the fifth floor is hidden underneath shrubbery. The object has been forcibly opened in a similar manner to the first floor's hatch. SCP-7440's fourth floor consists of three more interconnected rooms. Two of these rooms seem to have been used to store rations and grow crops utilizing thaumaturgy. These rooms contain 15 corpses of previous occupants, all found to have been coated with an unknown rust-like substance. 
The third room is accessed via a broken wooden door, consisting of a hole with a wooden ladder leading to the fifth floor. SCP-7440's fifth floor is a small, dilapidated room containing a crude, unlit fireplace, along with the decayed remains of ten humanoids. Analysis of the cadavers suggests the cause of death was from numerous stab wounds. Items found within the fireplace seem to correspond with the ritual required to enter the undesignated plane. Though numerous components are missing. Found next to the fireplace is a failed operative. Identification found on the agent corresponds to an outdated task force known to be the precursor to MTF Alpha 1, Red Right Hand.